first of all, what is your name? Marnie Gaston. Can you spell your last name? G-A-S-T-O-N. And your first name? Marnie, M-A-R-N-I-E. Marnie, tell me about your driver. Tell me what happened that night. <laughs> um, I got a call. He was loading a boat. He was just about finished. He was strapping the last strap down on the boat, bent down, had a car behind him, so he felt pretty protected. And out of nowhere, a drunk driver comes in, swerves in between the customer's car and the wrecker, and goes up the wrecker, hits Ed, runs him over, proceeds to go up the ramp, hit the corner of the cab, went across the window, and then flipped the car. The bed was up at the time? Yeah, the bed was at an angle. So basically, almost like a ramp then, went up? Yeah, exactly. Because okay. his wheels went right here, right between the It's right on up. The, the, drive, the passenger front window, I mean, front tire and back tire. What, tell me about uh, your driver, what was his name? Edward Giant. Tell, you, tell us about G-I-A-N-T. Giant, okay. Tell me a little bit about him. He was, this is hard, he was a remarkable guy. He, you know, had a rough past. He's been through a lot. He's been through more than really, I think, it, one person goes through in a lifetime. And, you know, he had done some things in the past that he, he did it some time for. But when he got out, he um, came to us got, and got his job. And I watched him go from a, a man that just didn't say much of anything, but answer your questions, ask what he was required to do, write it down. He researched his job and just became the best driver I had. And um, I watched him go from a man that didn't say much to a man that was so proud of life. And just Friday morning, <clears throat> he sat in my office and told me how happy he was with his job, with his life, and where he was going. He finally got an apartment, got his truck, got his membership at the gym, because he was a gym nut. He would tell us how to eat. You know, you need protein bars, you need water, you need to work out, you know. And I said, well, I'm really proud of you, Ed. You're doing a great job. And he said, I'm happy. That was Friday morning, so. <laughs> And Friday night this happened. Friday night this happened. What kind of problem? I mean, you're seeing a lot of this now. Records getting hit. Almost, it's at least once or twice a week now. Yeah. Uh, you see your husband was up on the freeway the other day, and nobody pulled over. Nobody. He sat in his wrecker with the lights on, pulled over and up, you know, on the in the, I guess rescue lane. Right. I don't know what that's called. And sat there for probably anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes and counted. He said he could count on one hand how many cars got over and out of the way. Everybody else was zooming by where he couldn't even open the door to get out. So, I mean, it was, he didn't get out because, you know, he just realized how dangerous it we're, really is. We're looking at 75 miles an hour plus on this highway up here. Right. Now, the driver, it was it a boat that was broken down, a car and a boat, or what? It was a, um, actually the boat, the trailer, the boat broke or something, and the, the customer had called into AAA, and, you know, they called us out to load the boat. Um, which he had taken his wife home and then met Ed back at the, the boat and parked behind the boat about a car length behind him while he loaded the boat up. Okay. Memorial services today? Yes, sir. Y'all plan to what? Drive from here to Brian? Or? Yeah, we're going to do a record procession from here to the funeral home because the viewing starts at 1 and then the funeral's at 2. Thank uh -huh.